Blue? Blue, what are you reading? Nothing. Uh, is that supposed to be, uh... Well, I figured it would be good to familiarize ourselves with stuff we've seen in the game. So essentially, that's a strategy guide. <sighs> Not necessarily, it's more reviewing our footage, but yes. Ah, come on, Blue, don't be so grumpy. I mean, everyone knows you're just a bean anyway. Ugh. <laughs> of course, because we're in front of the coffee machine. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Swap Bros Plays Under Hero. I am your host, The Magnificent Sands, and I, his apathetic, pun-loving co-host, Stretch. So in the last episode, we had quite an interesting time. Yeah, we got quizzed out of nowhere. Not sure how that played out, but hey, we managed to get all of them correct by a miracle considering one of them had two answers. And in this episode, we are going to take down the Moth Queen in her own throne room, no less. Well, let's hope we can. I'm not having too many positive thoughts on that. Holy crap, she's huge. That's a much bigger moth than I was expecting. A mass child in my royal chamber? What is the meaning of this? State your business immediately. We are here to kick your royal butt. Excuse me? How dare... Wait, is that you, Elizabeth? <laughs> and is that your hero, an insignificant mass kid? <laughs> Not as insignificant as that baby crown. Silence! What happened to the real hero? The real hero is standing right here. Are you afraid, Your Majesty? Hmm? This must mean the hero has perished. <laughs> well, shoot. She figured it out right away. Wait a minute. Is that moth purring like a cat? She is. So wait, the moth is a cat? No, I just think it has similar sounds. I grow tired of this conversation. If you wish to die so desperately, I will gladly oblige. Prepare to be broken, Elizabeth, you naive tool. Here she comes, kid. If you need any help, talk to me with the left trigger. Oh, boy. So how am I supposed to do boss battles? I'm not so sure about that, considering uh, we're not getting any prompts. Uh, no guess as good as mine? Okay, encounter. Uh, I guess we just go straight in for the kill. Alright, she certainly seems tired. So, let's just keep hitting them with all we got. Okay, so we have to dodge her attacks and then we go in for the kill? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is not what I anticipated when it comes to boss battles. Given that we've been doing everything RPG style, yeah, kind of the same boat. Well, at least we got potions to keep us steady, so there's that. Okay, so we can't touch her, so we just gotta keep dodging it seems. I'm guessing there's a point where she just does one attack that'll stun her, and that's when we go in. More than likely, it's this freaking jump attack thing. Yep, seems like it. All right, let's go in with the hammer. Oh, that did a lot of damage. All right, so as long as we do it musically, we can do more damage. All right, so now we're good. Unfortunately, from what I'm noticing, whatever our stamina was at the time of entry will be what we have to deal with. Like when we go back into the fight. Yeah, seems like it. Whoa, that was close. What is she even shooting us with anyway? Ow! Well, whatever it is, I don't like it. I'm not gonna lie, this definitely threw me for a loop. Yeah, same here. I was not anticipating things to get this weird. Wait, what? Uh, did she just leave? Whoa, crud! Okay, that was unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. Guess she's getting more aggressive. Oh boy. Alright, so uh, where's she coming from now? I'm guessing. Oh no, just from the bottom. Oh boy. Alright, so this queen certainly knows what she's doing. Yeah, luckily we've got potions, so we don't have to worry too much. Yeah, let's just uh, keep moving, shall we? So we don't die. Yeah. Good idea. All right, hammer swing. All right, and sword slash. But go back and charge it for a minute. <laughs> Good use of the potion. Well, I figured we needed one after taking quite a heavy hit. Wait, what the? Okay, now I've got them rolling on the sides out. Wait, whoa, they jumped too? What the heck? 
All right, so now she's starting to do like a charge attack thing. So we gotta be careful where she charges, because depending on where she goes is where we gotta dodge. Now do we just really need to get good at platforming? Which, to be fair, we've gotten pretty good at in the time we've played. All right, then we go. All right. Luckily, she casts a pretty big shadow, so shouldn't be too hard to avoid. I will say her sprite is beautiful. Oh yeah, no, the attention to detail is what? What did she do? I don't know, but it hurt us. I'm guessing we were in the way of some sort of sonic sonar type thing? I guess so. All right, let's do charge slashes. Ah! All right, not too bad, I don't think. No, but could be a lot better. So far, so good. I mean, Hamida's almost halfway down. Okay, so we were too close. I'm guessing when she does that weird sonar thing, you can't be too close, otherwise it's gonna hurt ya! Oh crap, she's going for the charge. Alright. Gonna watch where the little... I guess the spray is? Because that indicates where she's gonna fly. And then, of course, where you gotta dodge. Help! Well, why can't I reach that? Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Alright. Made it past that. So when's she gonna do it? Oh, come on, really? Another one? But at least she couldn't reach us. Yeah, that's true. She really likes that move, doesn't she? Yeah, no kidding. Kinda glad we decided to stop after the quiz thing. Yeah, in retrospect, smart move. Who knows how long we'd be at this. She certainly takes a sweet flippin' time, doesn't she? Alright, let's go on with the hammer strike. And ah! Alright, and charge it twice! Okay, so far so good. He's past the halfway point. Yeah, but that's usually when they get more aggressive, so stay on your toes. Now here's a question, can we jump on a flipping head? Or maybe jump on top of the things to hurt them? Let's see. Nope, they just hurt us no matter what. Well, at least we know. All right, here comes the charge again. I do like her eyes kind of turn pinkish when, you know, she flies or she gets really aggressive. Whoop. That was close. Very much so. Ah! These stupid things keep hurting us! Oh, come on! Uh, that last one was a little bit ridiculous. Alright, what you doing? Right down below. Alright, let's go down. Alright, so, so far, so good. Just gotta keep on moving. Keep on- Ow! These stupid things. I really don't like them. So I guess this boss fight had to get a little bit more aggressive. Yes, I know. I need the health. But I'm gonna be a risk taker and not take it just yet. Taste the power of my hammer! Hide! Alright, let's hit her with a swing. Charge! Okay, now we definitely need the health. And before, why didn't we take it? Uh, well, I decided not to just because I wanted to do the attacks first. That's a bit of a weird reason, don't you think? Whoa, what the heck? I think she's getting faster. Yeah! She's getting faster! Oh boy. Where is she? Whoa! What the heck? I'm guessing it's not predictable anymore. There doesn't seem to be any of those weird little things that happens when she does the dash. Meaning we gotta dodge a lot now. Alright. Whoa! Still hurts like heck though. Oh yeah. Though, if we hit her hard enough, we might be able to end it now. Maybe. Ow. She's also shooting those things a lot faster, too. I was not expecting the boss fights to be like this. I expected them to be very much different. I mean, kind of like the other fights we've been having? Yeah, pretty much. Still, definitely keeps you on your freaking toes. Like so. All right, let's do the rush. What? That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, yes! And she just got rushed out of existence! Kinda like how she was rushing her attacks by the end. She is still blowing up. Do we have to talk to her? Oh, wait, nope, never mind. Alright, that takes care of the Moth Queen. And I don't believe we've gotten a level up. Ah, uh, yeah, we did. Okay, so... Hmm, I'm gonna go with attack points. Alright. 
Level four. Sweet. Well, level five, but still. We can still talk to her. I surrender. I cannot believe I was beaten by you. You look more tired than usual, Alexandria. Was the whooping too much for you this time? You forgot to take your vitamins. This kid has more potential than I thought. Maybe even more than the previous hero. I was not referring to the... Ugh, never mind. What is your business here? Explain yourselves! It's the same it's always been. We're on a journey to defeat the evil Mr. Stitches. You wouldn't normally give us a mystical stone for beating you. I don't have it. I already gave you my... Give her the stone, kid. What is the meaning of this? This is my stone! We are on a mission from Stitches to deliver these stones to the bosses from the Stitched Army, and that includes you. Stitches? I mean, what Stitches send you? As in closely, you better not go run uh, flying to Mr. Stitches and snitch on us. It won't do you any favors if he knows that you were beaten by a little underling. You little and I'm sure your subjects will love the fact that their queen was so easily beaten by a masked kid. Fine! Do not bring your presence to my domain ever again! <laughs> We're just leaving, right kid? Yeah, I think at this point it would be in your best interest to leave. Oh yeah! Alright, so we take the jewel back or... Oh wait, no, we're delivering them, right? Yeah, but... Wait, what's she doing? What in the world are you plotting, Stitches? That's a good question. What is this guy plotting anyway? Like a world reset or something? Who knows, but... It looks like this is Alexandria's personal portal to the castle. I don't think she'll mind if we use it real quick. Looked more like an upgrade thing. Oh, gosh! Yeah, that'll certainly get you where you need to go. Well, let's see, because it doesn't seem to be doing anything at the moment. No, it really does it. Never mind. Oh, well, right in Stitch Castle. It's really weird how this looks. Like, it's all stitched together. Kind of like it's stitched like yarn balls. It does look a little bizarre, doesn't it? A little bit, but I mean, given the fact this guy is literally named Mr. Stitches, it makes sense. It seems the subject continues to be missing. They probably wandered off to a familiar place, yes? A place from early memory. Eh? Ah! You? Uh, where did you come from? Huh? I love it, he just shrugs, because whatever, I just came from over there. You're looking for Lord Stitches? He has summoned all the minions to the theater. He has a very important announcement. I'm his right hand, so I don't have to go. I already know the news anyhow. You, on the other hand, should hurry, 745. So wait, he's minion 745? God dang, I feel bad for this kid. What do you mean? Well, think about it. He doesn't even have a name. He's just a number. A number like every other. That is kind of messed up. Blocking doors sure is fun. Oh yeah, sure. Real great time. Alright, so does this lead to the theater? No, it leads to the elevator. Then we go down, and that'll get us to the theater. Pretty much. Alright, well, let's see what this place has in store for us. Alright, what's... I think this is where the theater is. This way to theater! Yep, you got it right. I remember a few things about the layout. I mean, you have to in this case. Stitched Castle Theater. Please take your seats, everyone. Lord Stitch's speech is about to begin. Alright, well, uh, let's take a seat. I wonder what this rambling nut job has to say next. <laughs> Hello, my loyal minions. You are too kind, you worthless scum, you. Woo! We're not worthy! Settle down now. It's time for a story, children. So shut up and listen well. There have been some rumors concerning certain legendary hero. Boo! Today I stand before you to shut these rumors down. I, the Lord of Darkness, the Harbinger of Fear, the illustrious Master of Pain, the- Oh, he's stuck again. We better stop him now or he'll be like this for hours. Um, sir? The news about the hero? Terror of the miserable, huh? Oh yes, as I was saying. <clears throat> and I, Mr. Stitches, have killed the hero! 
What? This has never happened before. I'm not prepared for all these feelings. You should at least scream in confusion. <laughs> yeah, he's starting to look mad. Oh! Oh! I mean, I love how they don't know how to react, though. It's kind of interesting to see, like, the perspective of the minions who have to deal with the villain's nonsense. You know, it's an interesting take. Not to mention, I do like they're all confused, like, it's like Plankton from that one Spongebob episode. I don't know, I didn't really plan this far. I do agree with you on that one. That fiend, he did not kill my hero. Ha 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 ha, yes! Rejoice, my underlings! The day we take the Chestnut Kingdom is nigh! Preparations have already begun for our siege. In just three days, this land will belong to me! Unless some kind of new hero comes out of nowhere and tries to stop me. <laughs> just three days? Kid! The lives of many are in peril! We must stop him before this war starts! What? I hate to admit it. We are no match for him as we are right now. We need to go to the next world and pronto! Oh, I almost forgot. Due to this new campaign, we'll have to cut some corners with our budget. I'm afraid Taco Tuesday has been terminated. How dare you terminate Taco Tuesday! That's the best day of the freaking week! Amen! No Taco Tuesday means no happy stretch, that's for damn sure. Oh, come on! And also a 30% salary. Oh, screw you! Yeah, screw that nonsense! Okay, have a good night, everyone. This conference is now concluded. It is out! Wait, did you say something? I don't know, okay. I'm morning Taco Tuesday. <laughs> God damn it! Wait, Blue, we don't work here. Oh, yeah, right, right. That I don't think Kaiser has the guts to cancel Taco Tuesday. No, not really. He loves tacos just as much as we do. Yeah, what the heck? So, we're in an interesting conundrum, aren't we? Welcome back, Master One. Apologies for stealing all the credit. Ugh. You wouldn't want to panic in our ranks, would you, child? Well, I mean, I get what he's trying to do, but it does kind of come off rudely. Good, good. I did say that I would repay you after you finish our little business. Anywho, how are your travels? Found anything interesting? How was good old Alexa? Not one word, huh? What is wrong with you, anyway? Um, sir? Oh, right, right, kid. I want you to meet my second in command, my strategist, my brilliant mad scientist, the one and only... Tiber! I wasn't asking for an introduction, you buffoon, the stone! I wasn't asking for an introduction, you buffoon, the stone! Here you go, child. Now I need you to take this stone back to the Baron of the Long Woods. He lives in a frozen manor far from here. He's an old cranky recluse, but I'm sure he will listen to you when he sees the stone. Now go! Make me proud! Good luck, 745. Oh boy, now we're going into another woods? Well, at least this one's ice-themed. Still, go from one wood to another wood and just good lordy loo. It's a little annoying. Mr. Stitches told me to block this door, so I'm blocking this door. Well, whatever. You block that door, you silly lizard. Alright, so how do we get to the long woods? I'm sure there's somewhere on the map in this freaking henchman fortress that has the answers we need. So we just gotta look around, right? Yeah! We'll figure it out. Actually, let's take a quick pause break. So you think it might be down where the hero's road is? Eh, probably. Let's try that. Sorry about that, folks. We decided to take a look at the map real quick just to see. Wait a minute! I've seen that! Greetings, Master Child. You have mastered the secret art of bribing, haven't you? I have some info about that if you want. No thanks! We're good! This way leads to the main castle. I'm under strict orders from Lord Stidges to not let anyone pass this point. Okay, so I guess we gotta go to save in portals. Well, I I'm sure the portal will lead somewhere. The hero might be defeated, but that doesn't mean we're out of work. Of course there isn't. I mean, they are planning a siege, after all. Which, actually, that reminds me. Let's clock in our sh save. Just so we don't lose the progress. You know, what's funny? You know, I I'm kind of noticing these guys haven't said a damn word about the fact <laughs> that one of their own is probably killing their own kind. Maybe they just don't know. 
considering the fact that, you know, we are technically a minion, they wouldn't know anyway. We have a great selection of potions, upgrades, magic anvils, and more! Alright, well, let's check out this evil store and see what we can get! Hmm, we have 606 coins, so... Hmm... We can increase our health. And also increase the amount of potions we carry, which come in great for boss battles. I'm thinking we get the shield upgrade. Smart move! I want the health upgrade, though! Alright, so we'll do potions another time. Alright, so we've got more health for the sheet. Whoa! That is quite the jump! And of course, more health points means more for us. Which means we're ready for round two. Which basically just means the next level. Alright, this leads to the Moth Forest, so let's move on to the next one, which is Longwood's Manor. Whoop! Geronimo! Let's do this! Why does that manor look like it has a face? It kind of does. It's got like a creepy smile. Ooh! Oh no! It's a blizzard, kid! These cold winds will definitely harm you. Plus, you won't be able to glide with your hoodie because of the snow. Look, it seems the left side is blocked. Or at least until the blizzard stops. Let's come back later. But never mind that. We need to find some shelter first. The manor shouldn't be too far away. Oh crud, so we've got to move before we take damage? Oh, great. Well, let's get moving, huh? Uh-huh. Well, at least there's coins on the way. Ugh, I don't like the fact that it's covered in snow. Oh, uh, come on. Wait, what's this? Well, we're at the mana. Well, at least we can warm up in there. Here we go. Um, I don't like this very much. No, neither do I. This is a little bit freaky. Kid, that enemy has a shield. You need to get rid of it if you want to attack the one behind it. You won't be able to see the hint very well with that shield either. Good thing this is not the first time you fight one of these jerks. Let's talk to them. Hey, you like my shield? It was kind of expensive, but so worth it. It can withstand all frontal attacks by following my enemy's movements. T-Bird developed it. He is a genius. Oh, really? Well, if that's the case, let's go a little bit unorthodox. You're gonna use the slingshot to kill him? I mean, it works, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, you're hitting him from above, so it works. But unfortunately, it's kind of leaving us open, so... Gotta be careful how we use it. Oh, darn it! Hold still, will ya? Hey, okay. At the very least, we've memorized the sounds and such for how we can do dodge these guys, so... Oh, really? Memorized it, did we? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of a derp on my part. Still, we are managing to do some damage here. Jump! But remember, the blink is jump. The tongue waggle is the duck! Even though somehow we managed to make that work. Not sure how that happened, but there you go. Oh, I don't like this place. Neither do I. It's a bit on the spooky side. What the hell is that thing? A mask kit in the mana? Most unusual. Your kindness really seen outside the Stitch castle. I suppose since you're Mr. Stitch's favorites, he would want to keep you away from harm. That doesn't stop the heroes from killing kids before, though. Be safe. Yeah, you might want to take that advice yourself, bucko. How'd you miss? I'm not even sure myself. Well, at the very least, we're getting hits now. Also, it seems to stun them. Okay, we're gonna have to learn how to dodge these guys. I think we just gotta jump it. Alright, let's try that. Nope! Oh, we got poison! Great! Alright, we got some healing back, so that's good. Shoot! We're gonna have to go all freaking. Let's try slashing it! At least that worked! Oh, crud, we got stuck in the stick and sap! Doesn't look like we can beat this thing without freaking. What the? Oh, okay, so when it flashes white, it's the web. Okay, so we can freaking dodge it. You just gotta have better timing, is all. Fortunately, we're poisoned at the moment. Alright, that takes care of that. Alright, we found an antidote. Cures poison. Alright, let's use that. Alright, so we're good for the moment. Might as well use that potion while we're at it. Oh, 
Ugh, much better. What's this? Save station. Oh, yes, please. Definitely need one of those right now. All right, ten coins. Ugh, sounds like that lady's definitely not feeling all too good. Well, given she's in the cold, I don't blame her. Still, I think this is as good a place as any to stop, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. We've been through enough as it is today, fighting a giant flippin' moth. Yeah, and that's a bit crazy for our standards. So tune in next episode as we venture into this rather spooky manor. Also, for those of you who have made the comment, yes, that boombox does look like a Nintendo Switch with the green and pink Joy-Cons. We took notice of it too. You're welcome. So anyways, thank you all so very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting us know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell to make sure all notifications are turned on, so that way you know when we are venturing further into this rather spooky manner. And of course, fighting spiders. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being... Sebastian Canino, Aaron Lena, Darcy Williams, Jesse Barbo 6, Panda 475, Nagi Oki, Zen Boy, Mighty Clarfight, Anna Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Grimmy Leon, Zodiac Demirge, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, and Katie Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, along with exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Blueberry and Stretch, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya! Thank you.